sustainability kind of really jumps out in every uh, session that we hold. Uh, partly, I guess, is because of COVID. We hold this exercise in the midst of the pandemic and the Singaporeans suddenly realise that the greenery is so important to, to catch the uh, fresh air. Uh, so many of them hope that we can uh, retain and we can uh, continue to find ways to uh, retain and enhance the greenery that we have. So the uh, City in Nature uh, initiative that has been launched uh, quite recently, I think has got very strong uh, resonance with many of the public. Many people also feel that it is very important for Singapore to develop in a way that is very inclusive. We must make sure that it is livability for all. Everyone, uh, everyone's needs uh, should be taken care of. And this arises from the realization that uh, there is a shift in the needs uh, uh, for Singaporeans, and there's a shift in the even our uh, uh, demography. So with the aging population, for instance, uh, you need to start to think about our uh, living environment, think about our physical infrastructure uh, in a way that could meet the need of the uh, aging uh, population in time to come. As we develop, as we try to cater for different needs, we have to think about how do we, how can we deal with all sorts of uh, shocks that we may uh, face in the future. It could be another pandemic, it could be another financial crisis. How can we uh, make sure that we can cater, uh, build in the necessary policies, initiatives, infrastructure to deal with the future uh, uncertainty. And the biggest threat of all, which is linked to the first point I mentioned on sustainability, is the uh, threat of the climate change that would affect almost all cities, including uh, Singapore.